Hi, my name is Tim Lurch, and uh, uh, today I'm going to review a little short review of this beautiful Callings guitar. This model is the East Side Jazz LC. Uh, very lovely, uh, elegant guitar, I would say. Um, the uh, the general idea of this guitar is that it's a hollow body guitar, but it's very thin. So it's about the same depth as maybe an ES-335 or something like that type of a guitar. But it's um, while it's braced pretty, pretty strongly, it's actually hollow inside. Um, and it's got this uh, Lawler humbucking housing Charlie Christian. It's not a humbucking pickup, but it's in the humbucking housing, which is a smart idea because if you it gives the, the, the form factor of the guitar a little more flexibility. Uh, so a very elegantly carved arch top type bridge. The fit and finish and the attention to detail on this guitar is pretty remarkable. Um, it's They really are doing a wonderful job at Callings. I'm going to move a little bit this way so you can see the headstock as well. The, the, the fingerboard is um, rosewood and it's relatively simple. There's no binding, um, just side dots and top dots. Uh, the scale length is a little bit um, different than a Gibson type scale length. It's tw a 24 and uh, 7 eighths, I guess they say. So that's a little longer than, than your standard uh, 24 and 3 quarters. Um, but uh, and for me, it's a little unusual because I don't typically play shorter scale guitars. Um, the um, but what I what I noticed when I picked this guitar up, and this was something that I wanted to remark about, is that um, even though it isn't really the form factor that I'm comfortable with or used to, I'm a Telecaster guy, you know. But I've been, and I've also been playing lately a, a very large 17-inch L7, um, and uh, both of which have long scale. Uh, I tend to avoid shorter scale guitars for a particular reason, is that I've noticed that the bottom strings tend to be a little bit less harmonically rich um, in terms of the content. Uh, but when I played this guitar, I noticed that that um, they really got something right about the way the acoustic resonance of the guitar, the kind of the snap, the quick the quick response of the strings, um, and uh, the sound and the playability all come together in a really wonderful way in a in a way that I haven't really experienced uh, very often in a guitar of this type. Um, it's a laminated top three-ply laminate. They're relatively thick, um, but it does have um, a, a lot of uh, vitality sort of in the sound. That's the only way I can say it. I'm going to turn the volume t all the way off and kind of crowd the mic just a little bit. And you can hear that it doesn't have a very big voice. For the player, at least, uh, certainly anywhere beyond about four or five feet away, you're not going to hear that. But for the player, there's a kind of uh, response that um, that I like very much. <laughs> and um, I don't know if they designed it that way or if it was a happy accident that the that the way the acoustic quality of the guitar, even though that it's a, a quiet. Uh, sound, it really affects the sound of the guitar in general. Uh, which brings me to the next thing, uh, the Lawler uh, Charlie Christian uh, in the humbucking form factor. This allows them to be able to put different pickups in here. I know that they make this guitar also with uh, perhaps a uh, Lawler Imperial. Um, but, you know, aftermarket pickups are a big thing and everybody has their own preferences, so you don't feel like you have to be stuck with uh, you know, um, a pickup uh, receptacle that won't work for you. But this pickup is something uh, I really enjoy. Um, I play the Charlie Christian in my Telecasters. I've ha had one of these uh, humbucking factor ones as well. Um, 
they the way that they've got this thing put in here um i adjusted it ever so slightly i lowered the the base side down and raised the treble side up just a little bit i may have lowered the entire pickup just a little bit as well but um there's it really responds nicely uh to the volume knob they've got a 500k pot on here which is something i hadn't uh experienced with this pickup and it really does roll off nicely so if i'm here and i and i've got the the pickup is now at about uh five or six you know halfway down um it really does have that nice nice kind of acoustic jazz guitar sound I'll just turn it up a little bit as we go there's plenty of plenty of brightness with this pickup so I think it was a good idea that they put that uh, 500k pot in here and some nice capacitors to give that pickup a, um, a little bit more uh, uh, high end. The tone uh, control, these very lovely um, kind of uh, domed knobs, um, they're, uh, this, the tone control's up all the way. Uh, a very lovely design of the way the bridge, the wooden part of the, the not the bridge, the tailpiece, the wooden part of the tailpiece integrates to a very sturdy um, metal bracket back here that connects it to the guitar. Um, see, what else can I say? It's got um, this laminated maple top, which is lovely, and then uh, it's also got a, a maple back with a mahogany neck. The lines in the guitar are really lovely. Uh, as far as I know, I haven't measured it, but I think it's a 15 inch lower bout, which is quite comfortable. Um, and it's lightweight. It weighs, you know, maybe, maybe five pounds, maybe less. Um, another thing that I like, I've been playing it with a pick um, in, for the last few minutes, is that um, I, I find very often my approach to finger style, which I usually play on a Telecaster, uh, is um, very difficult to, to pull off on an archtop guitar uh, because of the way the strings respond and the amount of sustain or the lack of sustain in, a, in an archtop guitar. Um, I very often found that archtop guitars need me to hit them harder to sound good, uh, and so that means playing finger style with just flesh on my fingers isn't a, ideal for that kind of scenario. Um, but this particular one, because of the sensitivity, I, I find that it works very nicely for finger style. My particular kind of finger style, which is flesh only, no nails. Uh, let me just play a little something here for you. And the string spacing um, for the right hand is very nice. I don't know what it is. Uh, the, I'm sure that Collings could tell you. Um, but it feels good to me, the string spacing, the, the, the ergonomics of the, the fingerboard, the way the, um, the strings lay on the fingerboard. I believe it's a 12-inch radius. Uh, Anyway, I, um, I'm going to roll the tone back just a little bit so a lot of guys like to hear that sound as well. So I'm going to take the tone back, go back to the pick. Okay, 
uh, that's not my particular or favorite sound, but uh, no, I know a lot of guys like that. Um, all in all, it's a beautiful, well-made guitar. Um, the guys at Collings were really kind to send it to me to try, and um, I wanted to thank them for, for doing that. The, neck, the back of the neck, which is unusual um, for me to feel so comfortable with the back of a neck in general, I, I, I'm picky about that, and this one feels really good. It's relatively full. It's a sort of what they call a C shape, I think. It's just a nice round curve, you know, no shoulder uh, that sticks out. I don't like those sort of um, square-shouldered guitars. <laughs> Um, and all in all, it's just a very elegant, well-designed, beautiful playing and sounding guitar. One more thing, I have 12 to 52 round wound strings with an unwound 20 G string, a plain G string. Anyway, uh, I like it. I'm, I'm digging this guitar. I'm not going to be very happy the day I have to send it back to him. <laughs> a contemporary kind of sounding guitar, not an, necessarily an old-fashioned sounding guitar. I think you can kind of get uh, everything from um, like a blues BB uh, King inspired sort of thing all the way to a you know a, um, a, a jazz thing all without really having to fight the guitar. Um. Compromised, you know. Anyway, there it is the Callings Eastside Jazz LC. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.